Hi everyone and welcome to the kitchen. You know more than a few people have asked me why do I have to wash organic produce? Like why do you wash that? It doesn't have pesticides and that's why I wash my produce usually is to get the pesticides off and the chemicals off. Well first you have to think of where does it come from and what was the trail to get here. So that's why I wash my produce because first I try to buy organic from the USA because I figured it's the same gut flora that I'm used to from this country. So let me shed some light on how those grapes got from the farm to the produce department in the grocery store. Okay, so let's say you have a worker in the farm picking those grapes and there and so how do you know how clean that person's hands were? Did they just use the bathroom and then they picked your grapes? So that's one. Uh, maybe they washed them in that country before they bagged them, possibly. Um, but they tell you not to drink the water, so I don't know how that's okay to eat that like that. Now it's going to be transported. Is it uh, in a boat, a plane, trucks? There's a big process to get here. So, and I wonder what crawled on that, ate that, flew on that, and uh, many other things that can happen. So now, uh, let's say it gets to the grocery store. It's in the warehouse. There are still things that creep and crawl through the night as well, right? And then now it's in the grocery store. Even if it came from the farm to the grocery store, all clean and intact, you still see people picking and choosing. You'll see someone pick up an apple, put it back. No, I don't like that. Pick it up, put that back and then or go through the bags of grapes and pick one out and taste it and touch the others and so how do you know that person didn't they didn't just use the bathroom right and now they're touching your food and you take that bag of grapes oh and you think your child can pick one or two and eat that while you walk through the grocery store well you know, and then two days later, uh, the child see, appears to have a 24-hour bug and stomach thing, and you may not put it together that that's how that happened. You know, I may be a little paranoid and a little phobic when it comes to washing vegetables, but I have seen too many clients that had some uh, parasitical infections. So that's why I really, ever since I've seen what the damage they can do and uh, cause problems, I uh, thoroughly wash everything and dry it before I eat it. So let me show you how, okay? So I start with cold, cold water because when you have fragile um, produce like lettuce, it's going to, the cold, the warm water will, you know, make it a little softer and you don't want to do that. So, um, even an iceberg lettuce, this is organic, but I don't know what's been in there and what's going on with that. So I actually, I wash that. Whoops. Okay. So I wash that and, um, sometimes I wash it in pieces because if I'm having this for lunch, I'm going to... See, when I see a little bit of something like that, I'm like, I don't know what that is, so I just get rid of it. But this lettuce here, I do take cold, cold water and I, um, I put it in a pan that's, because the pan is really clean. You know, if I have, I do have a lot here, but unless the sink has been disinfected, I tend to not fill up the sink because the pan, at least I know, is, you know, clean and washed and dry and I can just, I can do it in parts. And then I do add myself a couple of um, cups of vinegar. You can use white vinegar and that will disinfect your produce. Or if you choose, you can use a food grade hydrogen peroxide and that does similar. You use a little less of this, about a quarter cup into this big pan. Some people just use baking soda, which will get off the um, the dirt and dust 
and pesticides from normal uh, produce, but um, it doesn't really disinfect. So I choose to use the vinegar to get rid of the bacteria. So what I do is cut the lettuce. I cut it in like these pieces because I want the vinegar to really get into these little parts that I wonder what has been in there. Okay, and I use, I put everything in together. Even, even something with the skin you want to wash because when you take your knife and cut it, whatever's bacteria is on the outside, it's going to be on your knife and it's going to get in the inside and you're going to cut it and you might, you know, pick it up and get the lemon out. And so I wash it as well because these, I do believe, are from Mexico. So, you know, I don't want to deal with that either as far as uh, parasites from Mexico. So I do the same thing with lemons and also bananas because, just because the same reason, cutting it and the knife. So I put that in there. And um, I do have some organic apples here. And I let things sit in here for about 15 minutes. Hey, so I have taken out the produce that soaked, the chunks of lettuce and the lemons and the bananas. They're drying over there. This lettuce has soaked uh, enough. And I'm going to take this out and also rinse this and drain it and uh, dry it after. And as I take this out and I look in here, like, I guarantee you there's little things in there that you won't believe uh, you would have eaten. They're like floating around. And if you look closely, if you put that under a microscope, there'd be some things crawling around there. So that's why I wash my produce because I am not eating that. You know, I do this for about an hour when I come in with my groceries and uh, it's ready. I have things ready for uh, like a few days that I can just um, take and chop and eat quickly out of the refrigerator. And that way the prep work is done and I don't have to um, start cleaning it every single time. I hope this video gave you some insight as to why we wash organic food and uh, how the best way to do that is. So, uh, Thank you for watching my channel. I do appreciate it.